Good night to all. Good night, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus, or Yahweh, Yeshua, as we know him in Hebrew and other languages. I'd just like to say that when Jesus stood in front of Pilate, Pilate asked a question. He said, what is truth? That was a very technical question. See, he was a political figure at the time. There was a lot going on in the nation of Israel, and there was a lot going on in the empire of the Rome, yeah. Roman Empire. There was fears on all sides. There was the Roman government that rule and was in control of the entire world and had the world under its subjection. Then they had established Pilate, who was a political figure that played an important part when it came to the interaction of the Jews with the Roman government. And then Yeshua in the Hebrew Jesuits in the Greek and Jesus in our English language came on the scene and he started to dis disrupt some things. You had the priest, the high priest Caiaphas, the Sahedrin council. You had the rel religious leaders who were also in place under the Roman government. They also was very afraid. Why were they afraid? They were afraid because when they gathered together, there was a man coming that was proclaiming truth like no one has ever proclaimed it before. He could not have been bought. Hey. He could not have been persuaded. His mission was clear and his purpose was clear. They did not know what to do with him. They were afraid to open their mouths and to speak because when they gathered together, they said, now if we let him continue, the Romans will come and take our place. Here we see many religious leaders in this country today. They are afraid to speak up because they're afraid that the rulership or the government who are in power may come and take their place. Whether it's in form of a license or in form of land that they've given them, they are under subjection. And then you have political leaders such as Pilate who also is afraid to speak up. There are foreign entities that stands against the Bahamas through bodies such as one of them, United Nations, that believe that it is primitive or a backward people that still have written in their constitution that we are to be governed by Christian values. They want that removed. There are other foreign entities, such as China, who is an atheistic society. They do not believe that there is a God or a creator of all mankind. If you do not believe me, go and study their belief. So now we have foreign strong powers that's at play in this nation. That's trying to influence and squeeze the Bahamas to conform to the rest of the world. We have leadership that's afraid in government. We have the church that's afraid to stand up. So God Almighty decided that he will find a remnant of people who will stand up for truth. It was not that Pilate didn't know what truth was. He knew what truth was. It was a technical question. It was a political question.
It was a question by those in politics make a play with words when they do not want to go in a particular direction that may cause harm to their political career. Today we represent the history of the Bahamas when it comes to majority rule. It's not that our government doesn't know what the truth is. It's thus not that the church doesn't know what the truth is. There is fair on many sides to stand up for what is truth. Well, that's when God's people come in. Because we will always be on the side of truth. You know, lawyers, political leaders, always make a play with words. You call it splitting hairs. When I came out here tonight, I took my time and I walk over there, I look at each picture and I read everything underneath. Under the writing of the father of this land, they wrote that Selinden Pilnin was the one that led us to majority rule on July 10th, 1967. That is a play of words. It's a very unique play of words. It's a smart play of words. It's saying that, yes, we know that the date really is the 14th, but we don't want to say that truth. So we're going to get technical with the words. We're going to say that on the 10th, which they know took four days to the 14th until it actually happened, we're going to say that he led the path from the 10th to the 14th. Again, I ask the question, what is truth? Many will see the truth and then not touch it. Many may know the truth and will not speak it because fear many times rule in the hearts of men who are placed under control of power and authority. But people of God, we need not fear. Because as David said, and in the scriptures, if God be for us, who can be against us? If he is our God, whom shall we fear? It was interesting why they were celebrating majority rule on July 10th. This July 10th last year, January 10th this year, thank you, I was thinking about independence, that... Nowhere did I notice, and you can correct me if I was wrong, that there was a, hell, a church service of thanksgiving held as a nation to thank God Almighty for the 50 years he's given us for majority rule. I say shame on them and shame on the Bahamas because it is God Almighty Back when they was fighting for majority rule, they were not afraid to call on God. They were not afraid to hold prayer meeting, not afraid to hold church services. They used that as a means to get where they were going. Amen. But I say today, people of God, let's stand up for what is truth. For we dare not allow lie to prevail. We must stand for truth because when it comes to the kingdom of God, we must always acknowledge truth. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you.